Do you struggle with focus, procrastination, mood swings, or overwhelm? You could be one of the millions of people who suffer from Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, aka ADHD. If you've been diagnosed with or suspect you have ADHD, keep watching because in this video, I'm gonna share some functional strategies to treat your symptoms and help you regain control of your brain. More and more people are being diagnosed with ADHD, especially adult women who have fallen through the diagnostic cracks for decades. This means that more people are looking for treatment strategies that go beyond conventional stimulant medications. These meds don't work for everyone. In some cases, they make symptoms worse, and they can come with significant side effects. But it's really important to treat ADHD because if left unaddressed, ADHD can lead to really severe comorbidities. One study found that women with ADHD had double the prevalence of substance abuse, smoking, depression, and poverty, and triple the prevalence of insomnia, chronic pain, suicidal thoughts, and generalized anxiety disorder compared to women without ADHD. So, if treatment is super important, but stimulant drugs aren't working, what's a person supposed to do? Perhaps you're in this situation, either because you have ADHD yourself, or because someone you love is struggling with ADHD symptoms, like poor concentration, anxiety, impulsiveness, procrastination, and disorganization. By the way, that's just a short list of the possible symptoms of ADHD. There are many others. If so, you're in the right place, because in this video, I'm going to introduce you to some amazing evidence-based botanical medicines that can help treat ADHD in both adults and kids. And just so you know, many of these botanicals can be taken with ADHD drugs, and in some cases, they help the medications work better. That's because these strategies help get to the root of the issue, specifically by helping your brain work better and by supporting a more balanced and less inflammatory neurologic state. ADHD is a neurobiological disorder, which means the symptoms involved are physical, not just in your head or mental, but clinically measurable and modifiable. It also means that there's more to be assessed and addressed beyond mental and emotional strategies like talk therapy. Your diet, your micronutrient status, your sleep cycle, your hormone balance, all of it can influence your brain's ability to focus and execute, for better or for worse. That's why it's so important to view ADHD through a functional medicine lens. It dramatically opens up your options for treatment and symptom management. While we're specifically talking about botanicals for ADHD right now, you will find videos in my library on other functional medicine ADHD treatment strategies as well. I'll be sure to queue one up for you after this video wraps up, so be sure to stick around for that. Our first featured botanical that can be used to treat ADHD comes from a very special flower in the crocus family. If you're a cook or a foodie, you might already have guessed that I'm talking about saffron, the bright yellow spice featured in many Indian, Moroccan, and Middle Eastern foods. Saffron has been used as medicine for hundreds of years and has compounds that exert powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. This in itself is helpful for treating the brain inflammation common in ADHD, but saffron is also able to modulate or balance neurotransmitters like dopamine, serotonin, and noradrenaline, which can significantly reduce ADHD symptoms. A study done in 2019 found that 20 to 30 milligrams per day of supplemental saffron had similar efficacy to methylphenidate, also known as Ritalin, with study participants showing the same level of symptom reduction after six weeks of treatment. Another study found that a combination of saffron and methylphenidate was more effective in treating ADHD symptoms compared to methylphenidate by itself. This suggests that saffron can be safely used alongside traditional medication instead of having to choose one or the other. Saffron has also been shown to reduce the severity of ulcerative colitis, help regulate the HPA axis, aka your long-term stress response, help kids fall asleep faster at night, decrease food cravings, 
and reduce anxiety and depression. I'll include my favorite practitioner-grade saffron nutraceuticals in my free ADHD Botanicals user guide. The link to sign up is in the video description for you. Some of the botanicals that can help reduce ADHD symptoms fall into the nootropic category. These types of plant compounds boost blood flow to the brain and improve neurological metabolic function or energy utilization. This is super helpful in the case of ADHD because nootropics help wake up the frontal lobes of the brain, which is where a lot of your mental processing and planning happens and where folks with ADHD tend to have less metabolic activity. One particularly useful nootropic is pycnogenol, an extract of pine bark that contains compounds called oligomeric proanthocyanidins, or OPCs. Pycnogenol, like other OPCs, helps shift your brain waves to promote better attention and focus. Let me explain a little bit more. There are several types of brain waves that we can measure using an EEG, including theta and beta brain waves. Theta waves are associated with daydreaming style brain function, whereas beta brain waves are associated with focused attention. Research shows that pycnogenol can help decrease theta brain waves and increase beta brain waves, which helps people daydream less and focus more when they're trying to complete a mental task. In one study, supplementation with pycnogenol significantly improved both cognitive function and attention in people with ADHD. And as a bonus, it also decreased their anxiety scores by 17%. Two other famous nootropics are Panax ginseng and ginkgo biloba, both of which have been studied for ADHD symptom reduction. These botanicals are giants in the class of medicinal plants, and they have many, many other health benefits besides supporting cognitive function. One notable small study found that a combination of these botanicals significantly improved ADHD symptoms across a wide range of assessments. But the big deal is that symptom improvement was noted after just two weeks of supplementation. Last on our list of ADHD treating botanicals is Bacopa maniera, or Brahmi, an adaptogenic herb that has a long history of use in Ayurvedic medicine traditions. Bacopa extract has been shown to have strong antioxidant activity in the brain, particularly in the frontal cortex. It's also believed to support neurotransmitter function and regulation of the synapses in the brain. Researchers have found Bacopa helpful for supporting mental function, especially under stress, as well as learning and memory. In a 2014 study that examined children with ADHD, supplementation with Bacopa extract was shown to significantly reduce restlessness, improve self-control, and even reduce impulsivity. If adding some evidence-based botanical support to your ADHD treatment plan is sounding pretty good, be sure to check out the free user guide that I mentioned. In this download, I've included my favorite high-quality practitioner-grade botanical supports, including the ones we covered in this video, as well as other helpful details. The link to sign up is in the video description, so be sure to grab yourself a copy. Let's wrap up with some good news. There are many, many evidence-based functional medicine strategies that get to the root of ADHD symptoms besides these botanicals. So be sure to stick around for the next video. Additional videos on ADHD are in the works as well, so be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. If you don't want to wait or you'd like the convenience of all of these ADHD strategies in one place, check out my adult ADHD deep dive. It's a comprehensive, in-depth video resource with tons more research and actionable strategies that you can use to treat your ADHD symptoms using functional medicine. You'll find info about the deep dive in the video description, along with a link to the free user guide. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you over in the next video.